Hello everyone. Welcome. It's Timmy here with Chalk Couture. Coming to you a little bit later than I normally do, but it's Monday and you know how Mondays can be, right? Hope you had a lovely weekend. It was uh, gorgeous here on Saturday. Sunday was supposed to be rainy, but it turned out not to be too bad. Uh, got a little cooler, unfortunately, today, but it's been dry so far. And uh, it's been a busy, busy evening already. After a wonderful day of work, I um, also had an opportunity to join in on Chalk Tours Launch Love Live event, um, which was all about sharing all the awesome and incredible transfers that are coming out on April 15th. Yes, we have a whole new celebration suites coming out. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Rhonda. Coming out in just a couple of days. And we just got a sneak preview today of all of the awesome things. And April is really such an awesome month to be part of Chalk Couture. Not only do we have this great celebration suite, but we also have an awesome um, club transfer, which is what we're going to be working on together here tonight. And... Um, it's also a really great month to become a designer because we have golden tickets. Five golden tickets are given away to new designers, which um, if you get a golden ticket in your new designer kit this month, you will get $100 in designer dollars. That means that you can um, purchase all that you want um, for that hundred dollars and at our awesome designer discount so it's really awesome just an awesome month overall we're also getting news about our um, convention that's coming up in june which i'm really excited about it's called chalk con it's like the event of the year this year it's being held in nashville so i'm really excited to have a chance to do that but anyway that's all of what's been going on but what we're going to be working on today is using our brand new club transfer of the month and um, it's called um, what if you could fly and it is I've already started using it earlier today um, I had a request to make this little guy with the transfer so you can see that um, part of the transfer is um, find your wings that's one of the sayings that's on here one of the great things I really love about this month's transfer is that it's got a bunch of different pieces so you can mix and match and do a bunch of different things with it um, but this quote is, I think, the one that I like the most. It says, what if I fail? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? And um, it's uh, attributed to Aaron Hansen, who I have no idea who Aaron Hansen is. Anybody knows who that is, tell me. Um, but it's also got a couple of beautiful birds. And I've seen these used in so many different colors. They've been really cute for red cardinals or blue jays. Also gets this little piece here that finds your wings that I just showed you, and then a little wire for our birds to sit on. So um, today I am going to actually work on a canvas panel. So you might have seen these in your craft store or artist store. Um, all they are are um, a kind of a narrow um, panel. It's kind of got a canvas covering. There's nothing you need to do to prep the surface. We're going to go ahead and chalk right on it. Um, I actually picked up this gorgeous frame um, at an antique market a couple of years ago. And it had um, something in it that I didn't really love. So I took out what was in the center. And these artist panels, these canvas panels, can fit right in here so we can add whatever we want and we can change it out so that's what my plan is and I'm gonna do here hey, I see Amy is with us if you're just watching for the first time I'd love it if you'd say hi and tell us where you're from if you this is your first time watching me my name is Timmy I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture and I love helping uh, you to learn how you can create easy DIY home decor with our products um, it's lots of fun to create with Chalk Couture, and there's so much versatility, so much you can do with our products. I can't wait to share with you how fun it is. Now, 
um, as I said, we're going to use this canvas panel and we're going to use our monthly transfer. If you're wondering how it is you can get your hands on this monthly transfer, it is only available to my monthly club subscribers. Um, in order to become a club subscriber, you just need to click on that link that you'll find um, in my um, comments there. And um, it is a monthly subscription club for just $19.99 a month. You get a exclusive transfer that's only available to club members. It's never sold online or any other way. And you'll also get three coordinating chalk paste colors that will go along with that month's transfer. In addition, there's a lot of great specials and deals. And every month on the fourth Wednesday of the month, I actually hold a live free um, chalk night um, where we can chalk and share ideas about how to use that month's transfer together. So um, if you're interested in wanting to know more info, definitely click on that link. All the info is there. It's a three month initial commitment and then you can cancel at any time. But I'm hoping you won't watch it because it's so much fun. Um, every month the transfer changes and um, it's so fun to be able to play with. Um, last month's was wild and free and we actually used some of the elements on our wild and free um, our vintage truck cut out. So um, lots of ways that you can use it. Hey, I see Alana is watching. Nice to have you here, my dear. Okay, so um, the one of the things that I'm going to use with um, this canvas panel and our monthly transfer is this big flower transfer. This is from, hey Carol, thanks for watching. Um, this is from our welcome signpost um, transfer and um, that's one that you can make you know one of those big porch leaners with um, it's a really nice big size flower and we're going to actually use it and put it on a couple of different places along this canvas panel it's kind of going to give us a little bit of pop of color um, so that I'm going to bring this back here so you can see it. There we go. I'm going to bring this closer to me. There we go. And I'm going to use two colors of yellow. I'm going to use our bumblebee, which is a nice bright yellow. And then I'm also going to use this gorgeous, gorgeous, sort of gorgeous uh, golden hour. It's becoming one of my total favorites. Hey, Ruby Ray. Nice to have you join us. Just grabbing a couple of squeegees and some stir sticks. And then once we put down these flowers, then we're going to go ahead and put on our design of the month with the What If I Can Fly, and we're going to put that on black right on top. And it's going to be super cute, as I said, to put right inside that frame, okay? All right, so um, in this case, I'm using two colors of yellow because I'm going to kind of mix the colors a little bit and uh, give it a little bit of brightness at the tips of my flower petals. So here we've got, as I said, this beautiful golden hour. It's kind of a buttery yellow. And then the bumblebee is a nice bright yellow. So those are the two that we're going to use. And um, I'm going to just take a stir stick here and dab kind of towards the center of my flower with that golden yellow or golden hour. And then at the tips, I'm going to take my stir stick here and put in some of the brighter yellow. And then we're gonna let our squeegee do the work. And what I mean by that is we're gonna take this squeegee and we're just going to pull the colors across the screen until it's covered this entire area. Now I put this on an angle. I'm not getting the whole flower on here because it's a pretty big flower. And I wanna kind of give um, the words a chance to shine so these are going to kind of be off in the distance a little and whatever colors you want to use totally up to you I just thought this yellow was going to be really pretty and combined with the bright and the kind of golden buttery yellow I thought it would be really pretty so we're just making sure that all of this screened area is covered and when we're working on this canvas panel, as I said, there's nothing you need to do to prep this surface. It's just ready to go. And watch this. We're going to peel back and reveal that flower. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to uh, move this around and 
put this over here in another corner and maybe this time use just a different section of the flower and the same thing we're going to use those two colors oops this is stuck on my other one I'm going to move that out of the way and just make sure that it's pressed down pretty firmly and then the same thing just going to dab a little bit of that golden hour in the center and the bumblebee at the end sorry i had a little momentary panic there that i thought i did something i didn't want to do but i did not <laughs> sometimes when i get tracking and chatting with you guys i forget what i'm paying doing I'm not paying attention so you can really blend these colors together just to give it a little bit more dimension. That's kind of fun. And notice I don't have to worry about washing this transfer in between. But I do have a bit of excess here and I don't wanna leave any lines. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in the lid because I'm going to probably use that again in my next place that I'm gonna put it. So same thing, I'm just gonna lift it up and we're gonna peel back and there's our next part of our flower, okay? I'm gonna do it two more times. Up here in this corner, I think, we'll put another piece of this. And there's no uh, right or wrong way about where it is this goes. You can just put it where you like it to be. And the same thing, a little dabby, a little dabble do ya. Now the chalk paste singles that come with um, your, your little uh, monthly transfer kit um, really can be used. They, they actually have a lot of paste in them. You can use them a lot. So if you wanna do more than one project um, with those, you absolutely can. Um, they are considered single use packets, meaning that you'll want to use them fairly quickly within um, the time that you've opened them. Um, but you can clip them with a paper clip and stick them in a, a Ziploc bag if it's gonna be a couple days before you get to use it again. There we go, we've got now three, so you can see, oops, I always go the wrong way. And then I'm gonna put one more maybe a little bit bigger there. And I've got quite a bit of paste here still left on my squeegee, so let's see how much of it I can use. Okay, we need more. And it was pretty bright, so I'm gonna stick with the lighter color and go light for the rest of the way, I think. Now, when we're working on this canvas panel, I do find that they dry fairly quickly, um, the paste does. It kind of gets soaked up like when we're working in fabric. So um, we should be able to move pretty quickly and chalk on our words, but we do want to make sure that it's pretty dry before we layer on anything over it. So that's it. So our little transfer here um, is ready to go back on its backer sheet and I'll just place it there until I have a few minutes and I'll just wash it under water and let the water and a board eraser do the job of getting all that chalk paste up and then it'll be ready to reuse over and over again. Margaret, I'm with you. I totally love sunflowers too. Thanks so much for sprinkling, by the way. So nice to have you. Oh, Mary Kay, it's so nice to see you. I know my lives have been a little... Hmm, happenstance. I gotta say, I've not been um, on top of things as it relates to that. We've um, been doing some shows, uh, getting ready for some big vendor events, and also um, some workshops locally. So things have been a little crazy. But um, so here we go. This is what we've got so far. And like I said, you can kind of decide where it is you want to put it. If you want to put another one in the center, you totally can. But I'm going to leave this to dry because um, I actually did one earlier. So here we go, looks pretty similar, right? And this one's dry, so we're gonna take this one so we can put our words on it. It's kind of like the magic of television, right? The magic of television. And I think I'm gonna make this my top. My, and then we're gonna put on our, the what if I fail one. 
I am so glad you're here, Mary Kay. It's great to have you. Okay, so we're going to put this, layer it right over. And just make sure you press down so that that transfer is fully adhered. And I'm looking at it and I realize it's crooked. So that's all right. No worries. You could just pick it up. If you have any nails like me, I do not. Okay, and my hands are full of, there we go. Let's pick this up and re put this on so that it's straight. I always find it's harder to do this when I'm sitting down. So let me stand up here for just a sec. I don't know why I can always get things straight when I'm standing, but I can't do it when I'm sitting. <laughs> Does anybody else have that problem? <laughs> All right, so there we go. So again, just make sure that you press it down. And, there's, and what we're doing is just making sure there's no air bubbles. Um, notice too, if you've watched me before, you might say, hey, Timmy, you're not fuzzing it. Um, and that's because we don't really need to fuzz when we're working on that canvas panel. So don't worry about fuzzing, uh, but do make sure that it's adhered pretty well. And I'm gonna grab one more squeegee and a stir stick and my black velvet chalk paste. Now, one of the great things about our um, new chalk paste formula, by the way, is that it um, takes a little bit longer to dry than our old chalk paste formula. And that means that you don't have to work very quickly. Like we used to in the past, we used to have to like really fly through to make sure that things didn't dry before we were ready. Um, so this time you don't have to worry about that. So you can take your time and go ahead and put down your paste making sure that you're pressing that paste into the screen. That's one of the things that's a little bit unique about Chalk Couture and our transfer designs. They are silk screen transfers, um, so they are not stencils. So it's not a cutout, but rather a fabric mesh. And so we're using the squeegee to actually push the paste into that screen. If you're wondering where it is, I got this adorable little pink squeegee, by the way. It was a special that was given to us when we went to convention. I was just talking about Chalk Con earlier. But if you uh, want to get first dibs and notification about the new products that are coming out, be sure to request to join my VIP group. You can just put VIP in the comments and I'll make sure you get the link. It's free to join, um, but it's a great way to get news first, and it's also a great way to get access to my specials and deals and the bundle packs that I make available to my VIPers. It's called my Style Innovators Group, so that's what you'll see when you um, use it. Now, this, I would say, is a pretty fine transfer, and so, with the canvas panel, I did get a little bit of blurring, but um, if you want to avoid that blurring a bit, um, you could chalk, you could wax this surface a little bit, that would help. And um, also make sure that your paste is pretty thick. For some reason, I found when I worked with this black that it was a little bit thinner than I would like. So if you just leave it out, uh, it'll thicken up a little because that's what chalk paste does. But that's it, that's it. It's so quick, it's so easy, it's so cute, right? And it'll look really cute inside our antique frame, what do you think? I'm not so good at trying to get this lined up here. There we go, something like that. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little project and I gave you some ideas. Stay tuned to my um, page. Be sure to um, like my page if you haven't. Um, that way you can be notified when I go live again and I'll be sharing all um, a, a whole bunch of new ways that you can use this cute little transfer. And again, this was also with that same transfer and this was used our wood house cutout. That's shape. That's what this was. These uh, tops were just paint sticks that I um, stained with our bark chalk paste, really easy, and uh, cut this cute little uh, whoop, 
cut this nest in half and use my glue gun to put them on. So super cute, super easy. Two great ways to use this. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Hey, Elaine, so nice to see you. Um, and again, if you want to join my monthly club, I'd love to have you. Um, just go ahead and go to chocotour.com slash Timmy slash club and you'll see all the details. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Be happy to answer them for you. In the meantime, thanks so much for joining and you guys have a great day. Bye.